Greetings in the precious name of Jesus Christ. This is Cosmio time. Time of preparing the bride of the Lord. Time of perfecting the church of Jesus Christ. Time of possessing the kingdom until Jesus comes back. Pastor Sebastian Mwanza, Senior Pastor of the Glorious Church in Johannesburg, will be ministering to you during Cosmio time. Sebastian Mwanza, a senior pastor of the Glorious Church in Johannesburg, Yeovil, and uh, I welcome you in uh, our program, Cosmio Time, a time whereby we bring the Word of God to you so that the Word of God can empower you to become who God wants you to be. Before we start, let's pray. God, we thank you. And we bless your name for this wonderful day again that you have given us. And we bless you for the word that you're going to bring. And we believe, O oh Lord, that your word will empower many of our viewers. And we believe, O oh Lord, that we're going to enjoy the time together with you. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. We love you. Welcome. We thank you very much for being there always. Following our programs, we're having a lot of um, feedback from uh, our viewers and that we believe that you, maybe it's your first time to follow us, you are going to be blessed by this message. For um, some times now we started to speak about mutual prayer and today also we'll continue with the same subject, mutual prayer. Remember we spoke about mutual prayer at home as a family and we, pray, we, we spoke also about mutual prayer at the, the church and uh, lastly we spoke about mutual prayer but at the workplace and I believe that you guys have been uh, blessed by that and today I want to bring the same message but today we are talking about mutual prayer at the neighborhood you pray for your neighbors your neighbors they pray for you I know we are living in a society uh, that many will call civilized society where people are concerned more about themselves. Uh, you don't need to know what your neighbor is doing because it's not your problem. Uh, it's not your business. But this is not how God wanted us to be. God made us as social beings. And as social beings, we depend on one another. It doesn't matter the one who has a lot of money or the other one is poor or the other one is middle. No, as human beings, we need one another. We put our money aside. We put our poverty aside. We put our you know, assets aside. But as human beings, we are sociable people. And we need to interact to one another. Let me read the same verse that we've been reading in the book of James, the chapter 5 and verse 16. The Bible reads as follows. Confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective fervent prayer of the righteous man avails much. That is our verse that we started talking about up to now. And we are saying that we have to pray for one another. And as I say today, our message will really go to the neighborhood. I don't know where you stay. Obviously, you have neighbors. In your neighborhood, I know some of you maybe you don't know who are the dwellers of your neighborhood. But you must start knowing them. And you must start knowing that they need prayer as much as you need prayer. And as neighbors, we are facing also a lot of challenges inside your yard, inside your house, inside your home. Some of the time we just want to hear that in the next door, people are fighting. Maybe the couple is fighting. No, it's not my problem. But you don't know why they are fighting sometimes. It is a spiritual problem. Sometimes it's a social problem which needs your prayer 
it is very important that we look at our neighborhood and see what are we doing for them. And the best way to do things is to pray for them. That's why the Bible says that we have to pray for one another. Beloved, many neighbors are fighting. I remember where I stay. <laughs> Praise God. I remember where I stay. There was a time that I made a mistake to burn some of my garbage there. And he started bringing some smoke. My neighbor came, fuming. He said, no, you cannot do this. You see your fume is coming to, 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 to my place. I don't want to see that. The smoke is all, way, all, all, all over the place. The smoke is coming to my place. It's coming into my house. Why? You must stop your smoke to come. Oh. I say, how do I stop the smoke to come to your place? He said, no, you have to stop it. So while he was talking to me, then the dog, his dog, was barking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I said, before I stop the smoke to come to your place, you must stop your dog from barking. And those barking must not come to my house. And it does that every morning. It does that all the time. At night, it does that. You must stop that. You know, so finally, one day, we have to, spoke to, to, to speak to one another. And what happened is that when we start talking, we start saying that we were so foolish. But the other time, instead of supporting one another, instead of coming to tell you how do you manage the smoke and all that, I started shouting at you. I'm sorry for that. And I say, okay, me also, I know there's no way you're going to stop the dog barking at night or to stop those noise to come to my place. You know, instead of supporting one another to see and talk to each other, we started to fight. We don't need to fight, actually. We need to support one another. And the best way to do that is to pray for one another, to talk, to have dialogue. And when we started to talk, I discover that his mother was sick. And he discovered that I was having problem with my wife. So he started giving him advice and I started giving him advice as well. And we start praying for his mother. He start praying for us. So you see, and then we realized that he needed me and I needed him. It is very important that we do that. Most of the time we fight as neighbors. Most of the time we don't want the neighbor, even when kids are playing, the balls goes into your yard. You're going to get angry. Sometimes your neighbor is having a, a party. They start playing music. You call the police. Yeah, it's okay. You don't want noise. It's okay. It's a civilized uh, uh, society. But we must not forget that God has created us. A social being, we need one another. So let now start coming together. Say hello to your neighbor. Ask him how he's doing. Ask him how she's doing. And then start asking them how are they at home? Is everything fine? Is there no need for them? Maybe of prayer? You will be amazed. You will be shocked how much your neighbors need prayer how much your neighbor needs support. I've done that. We realize that uh, our children are going to the very same school with our neighbors. And when uh, they had a function at, the, at the, the school, when we met them, we started talking and asking them where they stay. We realized that we we're neighbors. Then we said, let's pay them a visit. When we pay them a visit, they start telling us about their issues. Oh, we were hard. We started to pray together with them. When we started to pray with them, we were able to know about their issues. Then we were also able to tell them about ours. Then uh, as each and every one of us has some issues in life which needs really the support of other people, they start praying for us, we start praying for them. 
So I'm encouraging you to do the same. I'm encouraging you to, to, to find a day where you ask your neighbor, how are you doing? I know I don't want to get into details of your life, but you know, I was wondering if you can not give me a prayer subject, or rather I can give you a prayer subject. If you pray, please pray for me. I know some of the people cannot, uh, maybe they don't pray. It's fine. But prayer, it does not matter you are a Christian or you are not. Praying for someone is praying for them. So I want you to pray. But we are basing our message in Christianity. We cannot deny that. And we cannot say, no, anybody pray anyhow to your God. We are praying and we are asking the Almighty God, the God of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is the one that we pray and is the one that we are encouraging everybody to pray. So, you go to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I want to pray for you. I want to pray with you. What are your issues? Maybe your issues are my issues also. And let us pray for one another. Do it. It is very important. Pray for that sister at the neighborhood. Pray for that boy who is in drugs now. Start praying. Maybe the parents are not coping. Pray for that neighbor who is a thief. Yes, we can uh, report them to the police. But they, they have arrested them. They went to prison. They came back and they started doing this is a spirit. Let me repeat that. There is a spirit behind that. It needs your prayer. At night you must stand and pray that that spirit on that son of a neighbor get out of him. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pray for them. Those couples, they are always fighting. There is a spirit behind that which is fighting the marriage. You stand up there and pray on their behalf so that that spirit can come down. You see in some areas, young people cannot get job. Why? Because there are some witches and wizards in the neighborhood. They are the one bringing everyone down. You as neighbors stand up and pray against that spirit. Nobody must advance. Nobody must succeed in life in the neighborhood. You stand against that. Then you are protecting your neighborhood. Then you are praying for a neighborhood which is conducive, where people can really enjoy life. Yes, pray. It is very important. You see some neighborhood. People, they are only young people who are against us. Young people who don't go to school. That is a spirit. You stand against that. Come and stand against that in your neighborhood. Pray for your neighborhood. To be a better neighborhood. Very important to attract people, to attract business. You go to a neighborhood where young people cannot get married. Women cannot get married. All the women are going and getting pregnancy and giving birth inside the house of the parent. That is a spirit. You must stand against that spirit. Pray against it in that neighborhood. It is good to run away, pack and go, but you don't know what you're going to expect also to, uh, to the, 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 the neighborhood where you go. The best thing to do is pray against that spirit. It must not be in that neighborhood. Very important. We face a lot of challenges in the neighborhood. And those challenges, we must bring them in the prayer so that we may break those spirits disturbing the neighborhood. Very important. Some neighborhood, they kill. The spirit of killing is there. People are killing one another. People are jealous of one another. People are destroying one another. We have to stand as the neighbors to stand together and pray. I recall, you can go to your neighbor to pray. You can go to the next neighbor to pray. 
But if you can also have one Saturday where that the whole neighborhood will meet in one hall maybe, just have a prayer for the neighborhood. You pray that your children can grow up in a better environment. You pray that your, 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 your neighbors can be nice people. Your neighbors can be part of your family, part of your uh, place, part of your life. You can pray that your neighborhood can attract more people, can attract more positive things, that the young people in the neighborhood can become doctors, can become engineers, can become big people in life, can achieve better. You pray that. I'm telling you, if you can do that, if you can continue to pray that way, you're going to be living in an environment, in a neighborhood, which is so nice to live in, which is so good. We just see that a child who comes from your neighborhood becomes one day maybe an international icon. Is that not good? When a great footballer a soccer player is coming from your neighborhood. It's not that good when a famous musician comes from your neighborhood. It's not good when a famous pastor, the God-fearing pastor, comes from your neighborhood. It's not good when a president comes from your neighborhood. So for us to have all these things, we must start praying for our neighborhood. Very important. When we start praying for one another, when we start, look, start looking for one another, looking after one another, then we're going to have a wonderful neighborhood. People will be willing to get into that neighborhood, to stay in that neighborhood, because the whole community is so united with one spirit, the spirit of prayer, the God.